Habit 4. Think win-win. Think win-win is the fourth habit mentioned in the book. The book named Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, written by none other than Stephen Covey. Now, how I interpret this fourth habit according to my version of Seven Habits of Highly Effective Speaker is if you do not have it for your audience, you will never ever be an effective speaker. If you are the only one who benefits from the content you write, the speeches you deliver, then you will not be an effective speaker. Or if it is just for the audience, you do not learn it. Even when you do it for audience and you do not keep anything for yourself, you eventually lose. You may be able to close a sales deal or you may have thunderous applauses by the end of your presentation. But if you have not improved how people think or have not made any differences in their life, you may be remembered just as a speaker in the seminar hall or in, in, the, in, the, in the theater that you're standing up to give the presentation. You will not be remembered for a long, long time, hence you do not become effective. Make sure that your content is of highest value for your audience as well as yourself, rather than just it being the best performance for you till the day. If your maximum focus is on your audience, then the applauses, profits, and fees would follow and it's just a nominal thing. Now, how can you help your audience win is the question. The first thing is involve the audience by asking questions. Let them share their stories. Second is use you statement as much as possible whatever the content be for an example i don't know if you've seen those videos those motivational videos those inspirational videos or speakers like tony robbins or let's say zig ziglar or les brown these are famous speakers all around the world most of the time the statement that they use is you when you use you statements you're able to relate all those things that you are telling with your audience it's easy for them to grab the third one is make sure you involve the mass no matter how big the size you can create statements or quotations which everyone could shout out loud and finally don't use me and I statements as much as possible because people do care about you but people care about themselves more than they do for you. And if they are there in your session, in your seminar, they are looking for what is it for them rather than what is it for you or how you became what you became. So these are my versions. Or let's say, this is what I understand by fourth habit, think win-win. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for next habit.